Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Genesis chapter 31, 14 and following. Then Rachel and Leah replied, Do we still have any share in the inheritance of our father's estate? Does he not regard us as foreigners? Not only has he sold us, but he has used up what was paid for us. Surely, all the wealth that God took away from our father belongs to us and our children. So do whatever God has told you. Sensing that danger was looming over his head, Jacob called his wives to meet in the fields with him. There he was vulnerable with them. He shared his frustration with their dad's behavior over the last 20 years. In this conversation, his, his, his wife shared a rather interesting narrative with him. First, they asked him about their own security as it relates to their inheritance. Their question suggests they felt disenfranchised by their father. In the verse 14, do we still have any share in the inheritance of our father's estate? Second, they told him that they felt slighted by their dad as well. The verse 15, does he not regard us as foreigners? They felt cheated as well. Not only has he sold us, but he has used up what was paid for us. They also felt vindicated by God. In the verse 16, surely all the wealth that God took away from our father belongs to us and our children. So do whatever the Lord has told you. Loved ones, do you see the dysfunction going on in this family? Relationships are all broken down. There is no unity. Everybody is suspicious of the other. It would seem that only Laban and his sons are not in conflict at this time. How is it with your family today? Has Satan infiltrated your family? Has he created a chasm in your beautiful relationships? If so, I encourage you to commit your relationships to God today. Commit your family to him. Ask the Holy Spirit to destroy the devil today. Your relationships are precious. You may have started those relationships, some of them, before you became believers in Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter. God can break every fetter. He can deal with every relationship we have. Confused, conflicted, convoluted family relationships is not God's design or his desire. God is well able to fix all such satanic attacks against your family. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it lying down. Seek God today. Let the Holy Spirit intercept the enemy this very day. Curse the enemy off of your family. Ask God to take his hand off your family and release your family so that your kids will not be against you. Your, your, your spouse will not be against you. Your in-laws will not be against you. People whom you have helped in your home will not turn against you. All of these conflicting situations are plans of the enemy. But let's commit them to God today and let's cover our families as a hen covers her chicks. Should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-969-0422. If you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word salvation to this number as well. Someone is standing by to support you right now. Today is the last day 
of the International General Assembly of the Church of God in San Antonio, Texas. After today, we will be leaving this site to go back to our churches with the blessings and the and the peace that God has bestowed upon us during this week here in San Antonio. But may I encourage you to pick up your book, my book, Six Practices of Effective Leadership. You need to get your copy today. Uh, we have only a few copies left here with us in San Antonio. If you come by, we will be able to sign your book and uh, just put a, a leadership thought in it for you. If you are not at the General Assembly, please just go to Amazon and pick up your copy. The link is provided in the description below. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, relatives, associates, neighbors, and all of those persons who share your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again on Monday. Shalom.